looks like a man. A man has been seen flying in the city's downtown area this morning at 8.15. People are intrigued about how he does it. Some people say it could be some kind of a loop. All the experts who are analyzing these images say, quote, this is clearly an extraordinary event. Police can't provide any further details now as they are afraid to put out misinformation. Some say he's wearing a dark gray suit. Others think it's actually his skin. Officials have been ordered to bring helicopters back. Operators say it is too risky and dangerous in case of an air collision over the populated Reports city. Reports have been coming in that our flying man attacked a car this morning. Two people were found dead inside. It seems as if he's demonstrated super strength. It's very difficult for the police to respond to this kind of thing, since it's unclear exactly what we're dealing with and uh, if there would be any other potential attack like over this. Over the last three days, 15 other victims have been found dead in similar attacks. He is reckless and violent. The federal government might intervene, and they ask the population to cooperate and stay home. Authorities released the first list of victims and finally confirmed the existence of a pattern. Uh, we believe that the flying man who's spreading panic in our city is some sort of uh, flying vigilante due to the fact that most of his victims have extensive criminal records. That could be a relief for the good citizen and an alert to the outlaw. But the question remains, whose law is the ruthless vigilante applying? The search is still on for a man who was apparently abducted last night. After surviving a deadly attack, he was taken away by the vigilante hours later, said witnesses. Chances are that he might still be alive. Police are led to believe this is how the vigilante extracts information for potential leads, since the man is assumed to be a part of a larger criminal organization. I was listening to that. Thanks. Did you hear me? I'd rather not. I can eat pull over here. I'm hungry. There's no time. We have time. I gotta eat something. My heartburn will act up, okay? Fine. Mike, can I take your order? Do uh, you guys have uh, gluten-free selections? No, we have nothing gluten-free. Uh, okay, well, I want the burger without the bun. Is that possible? What are you talking about? The flying guy. How do you think he knows who to choose? Who deserves it? I don't know. You're worrying too much. He's only one guy. He can't catch everyone. I don't know. Rob, I just think that we should be more careful. You know, just take the proper precautions. Mike, please. Taking us too seriously. The media is blowing us way out of proportion. He's already got what? Five guys? Thirty-five. Thirty-five? Yeah. Thirty-five. That's the last week. Oh, you know, you gotta stop following this shit. It'll make you anxious. We're not hurting anyone. No? <laughs> take it easy, Mike, all right? Once we're done, you, know, you take the money, go look after your family, plant your flowers, or whatever the hell you want to do. Let's focus here, okay? We're just about to open the lines to the, the listeners, and actually, just a question I want to ask everybody listening. What do you think about having a super vigilante in the city? I think he's taking care of us. He's doing the works the cops can't do. I'm not worried. Police will never have control over this vigilante. We're living in a new time. And I'm glad I'm a good citizen. I'm not in favor of the deaths. He could just bring them to jail. Eight o'clock, we blink the headlights twice and... Rob, I don't, I, I don't feel good about this, man. Something, something, something's off. I do. It'll be over very fast. Yeah, how do you know? I don't. Relax. Rob. Rob. What are you doing? Doing that. Rob! Jesus Christ, I can't take a leak no more. Did you hear that? Of course I did. Just keep an eye off anything suspicious, alright?
Mike, open up the truck. It's supposed to be peaceful, remember? Of course. Just that peace in mind. So many, many share the opinion that capital punishment isn't a deterrent to crime. My Eight o'clock. Flash the lights. No, I, don't, I don't like this. I guess I said we just get out of here. For Christ's sakes, do you want to do this or not? You know what? Let's do it your way. Supposed to follow them? I think so. You think you think so? Follow them, yes. Just drive. to say something. Get closer. I'm not doing this. We'll get back for the next exit, okay? I'm done. Identified as Robert Costello, a former cop investigated for weapon traffic. The survivor is unconscious, but doctors say he has no serious injuries. Authorities will interrogate the man upon his recovery. Was he missed by the vigilante or spared? Is this the justice we want after centuries of law development and human rights? What is, after all, being a good citizen? If this being acts in absentia of our institutions, have we failed as a society? Maybe. But history has shown that any form of tyranny cannot prevail. How many more family members will lose their loved ones, executed without fair judgment? Those who call him hero today may consider him enemy tomorrow.